everyone, it's Gothic Layman here. So please bear with me while I talk about the werewolf, lichen, wolf and wolfman and what these dark creatures of the night mean to the Gothic subculture and why we're generally drawn to these creatures of the night. So if you're interested, I did talk about vampires in one of my previous videos. I will add a link to it in the description, so below. You're very welcome to watch it. But today I am talking about werewolves and wolves. So first I want to talk about the wolf. There is a folklore and myth and legends and history behind wolves, more generally associated with Native American tribes, being that the wolf is considered ancestral spirits like a totem like of course an eagle and a bear is to a native american tribes they also believe that their ancestors used to be able to shapeshift into actual wolves and that is generally what the what behind came behind the the wolf and shapeshifting like you see of course in twilight bad example but the one I'm going to use, and of course, Brotherhood of the Wolves. And we see it in True Blood now as well, and a lot of other very popular media and Hollywood magic type things. Of course, the werewolf, which is what the gothic subculture is generally more drawn to than the actual wolf shapeshift inside. The, they believe, old myths and folklores believe, that the werewolf was actually a curse put upon a man by a witch. And this was to get back at the man, so the change was supposed to be horrible. It was supposed to be a, core, a curse, of course, so only had to change every full moon. The change was supposed to be painful. And of course, anyone that got scratched or bitten by a werewolf would then in turn have the curse as well. And then there's all these beliefs that to get rid of the curse, you've got to kill the original werewolf. Wolfman is, of course, the Hollywood magic. And from books and comic series of Wolfman, we get Wolfman movies, of course. Generally... The gothic subculture, of course, is drawn to werewolves because the same time that vampire literature came out, werewolf literature came out and dark horror tales of werewolves and the werewolf curse. So if you're interested, go searching for some great novels of werewolves if you're into that kind of thing. Why I like the werewolf is... The torch and torment that that poor person that has that werewolf curse has to go through every full moon. And they're always running from that curse and trying to find a way. But it's a torturous thing. And then they turn into this dark creature of the night, this magnificent, scary wolf type thing that they can't control their animal instincts. And they bloodthirsty monsters. I think, and it's a tantalising thing, really. I love werewolf movies, of course, like Ginger Snaps and Brotherhood of the Wolves and Cursed. And, of course, I enjoy True Blood with the werewolves in it. And I've enjoyed other werewolf movies and stuff. I guess it comes hand in hand. If you like vampires, you're going to like werewolves as well because they are creatures of the night as well and they their stories trying to get intertwined with each other so i hope this was informative to you and thank you for watching